there's a lot of hype around this vaccine, but it's, to me it's no different than any of the other vaccines that I've taken over the years. What was your vaccine experience like just now? Very comfortable, very painless, very well done. Everything was professional and I'm fine. Uh, it was quite um, easy. The, there's, there's very little no, very little noticeable pain at all. It's, it would be comparable to a mosquito bite. And um, the nurses and the, uh, their support team were, were very uh, courteous and helpful. And overall, was, I think it was a, a positive experience. Um, they made everybody feel comfortable. They explained the process. They uh, gave you a brochure that you could uh, refer to later on if you had any symptoms or any serious symptoms, side effects. And um, overall I, I think it's something I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend, particularly to older persons with comorbidities uh, to, as soon as it's available, to access it. As a parliamentarian over the age of 60, what does this first dose of the vaccine signify for you? It signifies for me an important and sensible step. The first step to avoid hospitalization and possibly death. We're living in very unusual times and it is important that we do all we can to avoid both these things and from all the reports I've had, the, all the vaccines that are being administered have a high degree of credibility. So it really doesn't matter which vaccine you get. What is important is that as Jamaicans, we use the opportunity to do what is sensible. Take the vaccine to avoid hospitalization at this time and possible death. I am relieved that it might signify the, uh, a turning point in the battle against the COVID pandemic, but it would not be the end, but hopefully it might be the end of the beginning. <laughs> and um, it's, we have to be vigilant, um, even for those persons who have received their first dose of vaccine. It's a couple of weeks before it starts having a, a, a protective effect and you still have a couple of months before you get the second dose. Even after the second dose, <clears throat> until the country as a whole has achieved herd immunity, I think everybody still has to continue wearing the mask, um, paying attention to hand washing and hand hygiene, and maintaining the social distancing rules that uh, have been in place for the last year. It is important for everyone to get vaccinated and I take it today um, as a parliamentarian because I want to be an example to persons in Jamaica who may be a bit reluctant to recognize that it is something that we ought to do as a nation. What activity are you looking forward to returning to when Jamaica gets to the point of herd immunity? I'm going to visit my grandchildren in the States and my children and being able to socialize again with good friends and family. I, I think socializing um, in you know being able to uh, go to the theater or being able to go to um, you know gatherings going to performances at various you know live entertainment events um, even being able to go to, to the beach, <clears throat> you know, where you might have, uh, you know, a fair crowd of persons that, that have been prohibited now. So, you know, just the, the normal things. I think for, for myself, I am less impacted than uh, my children. You know, I am really more concerned for, for children, particularly young children, who are missing face-to-face -face interaction at school. I think for them it's, it's, it's really uh, setting them back, not just from the learning loss uh, per se, but also from the social interaction 
and the development of these interpersonal skills and social skills as you know it is a big part of the the school learning process for young children so i'm even <clears throat> more excited about them being able to return to some normalcy i think adults will adjust more easily to the restrictions but just from my observation of, of my own and, and other children i think you know it's 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 much harder on them and it's and it's it's, it's really um painful to see them having to be restricted from the normal activities of children. Well, the, the truth about the matter is that even though you're vaccinated, you need to continue to wear your mask and exercise some amount of, of restraint in relation to your social interactions. Um, one of the things that I miss really is going to court uh, because I, that's my principal occupation and going to court and being in court with, with the, the um, usual group of people who are there. Now a lot of the court cases are conducted online by Zoom, so I'm looking forward to returning to courts. I want to thank the healthcare workers. Those who delivered and worked with us this morning were absolutely wonderful and professional. And to say thank you to all Jimmy, all our healthcare workers who have really been on this journey for quite a time. The bottom line to me is that the vaccine cannot be worse than the possibility of getting COVID. And people say the mask or the ventilator, truth about the matter, it is the needle, the jab or the ventilator. And all the, all, everything that I've read tells me, and I recommend it to persons, that the consequence of not getting a vaccine and getting the virus is much much worse than any possible fallout of this.